Well, Rick Ross was the only one with the balls to stand up to Birdman for Little Wayne, his friend. He did tracks against Birdman. He did rants against Birdman. Uh, and he showed his support for Wayne. Nobody else did that for Wayne. Not many people stepped up for a little Wayne. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell at the subscribe button. And if you want to run ads on the channel, it's jordantowermedia at gmail.com. Well, Rick Ross, I got to credit him because he probably, you know, was the catalyst to get this thing going a little, put that extra pressure on Birdman to get Wayne his money. You know, Wayne was owed $51 million, and that finally came to resolve recently. Of course, Birdman has other problems. He's facing problems with Hit Factory Studios. There's some liens against that. Uh, $12 million loan in his mansion. Tiger suing him. Aspire Music suing him. He's countersuing them. Uh, it's so much stuff going on, okay? Uh, now, Rick Ross was the only one to really step up. Boy, you a year late and five years late paying that man his money. Pay that man his money. We know you ain't right. Stop with the jokes, man. Bring that shit, baby. Bring it. That's what's so beautiful about life. It ain't no ceilings. You go far as you want to go. Have no fear. All that talking shit. Uh, that shit don't work around here, baby. Mm -hmm. We'll put you in check, nigga. We'll put you somewhere else. That's, nigga, that's some boss. Double MG, that's 305. I said it. I said a nigga name when I motherfucking time for me to see you. Shut up and pay niggas. You dead, nigga. Your face, nigga. But smile at you bitch ass niggas, because I know y'all can't touch me. It'll be a dead man walking before you niggas could even accomplished what I've been fucking accomplished. I actually done sold a billion Damn. records. Mm. The nigga who created hip hop ain't never sold a billion records. You heard me? For real though? Nigga, this is what you call a mastermind with fake bullshit. Nah, bitch. This is what you call a real deal, nigga. All the way across the board, slime. Damn. On G though, right? I be hearing all you niggas talking about this Lil Wayne shit. Mm. Lil Wayne is Lil Wayne. That. Bitch, Lil Wayne, my son, I raised him. He ain't had nothing. I brought him to be something and got something. Bitch, you think I ain't gonna make sure he's straight? Suck a nigga dick, bitch. I'm gonna show all you pussy ass niggas that I'm not <laughs> in my business. Fuck you, nigga. I'm gonna show you don't play with me, nigga. I'm what you call a fucking real mastermind, you little bitty bitch. Now, where is this gonna end up now? Because now that Lil Wayne and Birdman are back when being cool, right? Rick Ross is over on his area. Is Little Wayne and Ross, you know, like, how is this all going to work out? You know, because now if you're the guy speaking up, um, now you're the bad guy, right? This is what 50 Cent warned about. Don't get in between Birdman and Little Wayne's business. If you're friends with either one of them, just let them handle it out because they're going to work it out one day and it's going to be weird. And yeah, I'm wondering where that is because Rick Ross, you know, takes a real man to stand up for your friend. And obviously that shows... Little Wayne, that's one of your best industry friends, period. You know, he, st he stood up for him. And I'm just wondering, you know, where's that going to go now? You know, hopefully nothing, you know, but we'll have to see. Hopefully Birdman and Rick Ross can find peace. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.